grand old partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today I honor Thomas Miller, born in South Carolina, June 17, 1849. His parents were a white man and a fair-skinned mixed-raced woman. Democrats considered him to be black. He was adopted by former slaves. After the Civil War, Miller studied in Nebraska at Lincoln University. On his return home, a Republican governor appointed him county school commissioner. He next studied law. Miller won the first of three state house terms, followed by a state senate term. In 1884, he was elected chairman of the South Carolina GOP. Four years later, he ran for Congress, being awarded the seat after revealing Democrat vote fraud. Later years, Miller served in the State House and was delegate at the 1895 Constitutional Convention. He and other blacks refused to sign the new Constitution because Democrats had effectively made state government whites only. He was first president of South Carolina State University, a prominent HBCU. Inscribed on his tombstone, quote, I served God and all the people, loving the white man not less, but the Negro needed me most. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.